Welcome to a quest for metal today. I've just woken up, so I feel like shit. So we're going to be doing a quick little CD update uh, for you guys. Uh, the brightness, it burns! <laughs> but yeah, we're going to be doing a quick little CD update for you guys. Because uh, I haven't done one in a while, and i just got a selection of CDs delivered right here. For your enjoyment, and mine! Because I don't have streaming services anymore, so I only have to go by what I've purchased. So, it's better that way. I actually get to listen to all the ones that I've bought with my own money. So, I'm actually glad, and it's actually making me revisit the albums that I spent money on. So, in all in all, it's good. You know, getting me back into some albums I maybe didn't give enough time to. Like, How Are the Witches, which I got from Cradle of Filth, and... I'm really loving that now, so if I re-rank Cradle of Filth, Pound the Witches may be in the top five, you know? Maybe even higher, because I'm really into that album. But yeah, the title of this video is going to be albums I should have had in my collection already, because these are some of my favourites by the bands. Actually, most of them are my actual favourite by the band themselves. So it's crazy that I don't have them in my collection, but better late than never. So let's get in with it with the first one, which is probably my favourite Thrash album of all time. Thrash, I, I still consider it kind of black, which is, I only really collect like black albums. Um, but I still hear the vocals are black, you know what it is. Terminal Redux, there you go, still in the cover, you can see Discord. <laughs> in the reflection. Yeah, Terminal Redux is a... Bloody masterpiece. Bloody masterpiece. Can you see it better now? Well, you can still see my screen. But whatever. Spacey, progressive, technical, thrash, with black metal vocals, the ferocity of, like, early Venom, but the technicality of, like, a Voivod. So good. Charging the Void and recharging the Void. Amazing. Long songs. LCD, Liquid Crystal Disease. Such a great song. I, I don't know why I don't have Vector already, because it's one of my favourite bands, and they are the best thrash band and probably my favourite one of all time. The next one isn't my favourite, but it's risen and risen higher in my ranking, um, so if I were to re-rank these guys, which I'm actually wearing right now, then this might be in the top three. It's Let Mortal Heroes Sing Your Fame, and it's cracked. It's kind of annoying. Because this is a new one, and it's already cracked, so I hope the CD's actually good in it, because I haven't opened it yet. But yeah, fingers crossed, yeah? What's the postman? It's going to get beats. Yeah, look, Mortal Heroes sing your theme. I love the spoken word stuff in it. The new power rises. Like, the kind of, like, Gandalf speaking in it just adds to the atmosphere. I actually think this is one of the best summoning albums ever. Now, I love it. Um, it it's epic... Symph not symphonic, well I kind of say symphonic, but it's more epic black metal with the synths and the marching off to war kind of atmosphere. Love something, one of my favourite bands of all time. What can I say? It's a band that I listen to a lot and I've got most of the rubber albums. Um, I'm missing Oath, no, I've got Oathbound. I'm missing Dolgulder and Lurgburz. Dolgulder, Lurgburz and the latest one. Then I would have completed the discography because I've got all the others. Um, I forgot what the latest one's called, and I'm too tired to remember. Let's move on to my favourite uh, album by this band, who is the one of the bands that kind of created black metal, Bathory's Blood, Fire, Death. Oh, why haven't you had that before, Questy? You're an idiot. You sing the praises for this, unlike every video for about four years, and you've never purchased it until right now. Yeah, well, again, better late than never. I used to just stream it, pirate it. Yar! I used to fucking steal everything. So now, we use money. Which I'm kind of still salt, yeah. <laughs> but yeah, what can I say about this? I just did a full album review on it. Find Day to Die, Pastel Death for all those who died, and of course, Bloodfire Death. Um, it's, a, it's a flawless masterpiece, 10 out of 10, one of the best black metal albums ever, and I have it. I've got... What other battery do I have? I have the... Um, I always under the sun the black mark. I have that already. I need to get some others. I need to get the debut because I love the debut. Thrashy, venom like, just creator of black metal. 
Um, next up is another, my favourite album by the band, and the first album I've got by this band so far. Old Man's Child, The Pagan Prosperity. I had to get some Old Man's Child. And this one's just... It is my favourite. Uh, it's a perfect blend of like the older stuff and the newer stuff. It's catchy, but still in that raw territory, like the first album, Born of the Flickering. It is the perfect combination of all the work. But then Old Man's Child is probably my favourite melodic black male band, so every album they've got is amazing. Revelation 666 is great. Um, in Defiance and Existence is amazing, and that might be my next purchase. But overall, flawless band, and this album is my favourite. Speaking of some of my favourites, and I mentioned them before, Cradle of Filth, Dusk and Her Brace. Why have I not had this before? I don't know. I did as a kid, but then they got cut up by my parents because it was too satanic or whatever. It just made me like it more. It just made me like it more. I had this. Midian, Phonography, and some others, and then they got destroyed. Um, and then they became one of my favourite bands. So that's what happens. That's what happens when you try and tell people no. They just do the opposite. But yeah, what can I say about this? Heaven Torn Asunder, Funeral Carpathia, Malice for the Looking Glass. This is just Haunted Shores is great as well. It's a flawless album. It's one of the best Cradle albums. It's my second favourite. That's my favourite. Cruelty and the Beast. That is... It's by far my favourite, but this is my second favourite. Those two can't be beaten. Can't be beaten. And last but not least, we have an album that is not black metal. Uh-oh. What am I buying that's not black metal? Now, this is an album that I should have had in my collection for about for years now. Because it's like my favourite album of all time. Yeah, in fact, it is my favourite album of all time. <gasps> Call of the Wretched Sea by Ahab. Why, why have I not had this before? What is going on? Yeah, Call of the Wretched Sea. I've got the giant vinyl. When you get Call of the Wretched Sea, you, you numb nuts. Everything is flawless about this. This, this is my favourite album of all time. Still Life is number two now. This is number one. Blow the Sun, the Pacific, Old Thunder, the Sermon, the Hunt, Ahab's Oath. It's flawless. 10 out of 10, Masterpiece, Funeral Doom. Now I'm thinking, because I don't have streaming, I'm kind of like... I've only got black metal and some OPEF. Um, well, all OPEF. But I kind of want some Funeral Doom in there, because it is one of my favourite genres, so... Yeah, I'll start with Ahab. Next time I do a CD update, there'll probably be more. I might even grab... Um, what's the latest one called? It came out this year. Duh. It's probably my favourite album of the year. <laughs> Forgotten it, but I'll probably get that. And some other black metals. So that is my collection update for you guys. Let me know down below what you've got recently. What do you think of my list? And what do you want to get next? Let me know and we'll see you again on another Quest for Metal.